Hi, Danielle, the photo philosopher here. Happy holidays. Let's demystify the lens a little bit today, all right? Seeing as a lot of you are gonna be getting some new cameras for the holidays. This is my 5D Mark III and my 24-70 to 2.8 lens. Uh, this is a very common setup for me when I'm working. I usually have a camera body with this lens and a camera body with this lens, which is the 70-200 to 2.8, okay? All right, let's start with breaking down the information on the end of our lens. Okay, so here up at the top, it says Canon EF lens. EF, that stands, that's the full frame sensor notation. Um, it would say EF-S if it was the crop sensor. Uh, for Nikon, I believe it is FX for full sensor, uh, full frame sensor, and DX for crop frame sensor. All right, and the next set of numbers, 24 to 70 millimeters, those two ends stand for millimeters. And what that actually refers to is the distance between your sensor and your camera and the point of convergence in your lens, right? But we think of it as 24 to 70, that's our zoom range, okay? And the number that follows is a 1 semicolon 2.8 here. That is telling us what our maximum aperture is how wide our lens can open, all right? Uh, many of you with kit lenses, it'll say 3.5-5.6. What this means is that the more zoomed in you are, the narrower your max aperture becomes. 5.6 is not very wide open, especially in terms of creativity with shallow depth of field. So I recommend, if all you have to your disposal is a kit lens, is getting a 50 millimeter 1.8. Whether you're Canon or Nikon, you can get these pretty cheap, usually between $100 and $300. Uh, the Canons are made of plastic, so they're a little bit cheaper than the Nikons. But a 1.8 is a very wide open aperture, and you can get a lot of shallow depth of field. Very fun to play around with those. Uh, lightweight lens, cheap edition, and you'll get a lot of bang for your buck for sure. Okay, and let's move on to the next number. That circle with a line through it is the symbol for diameter, right? So this has the diameter symbol and then 77 millimeters next to it. What that means is that the width of my lens at the end is 77 millimeters. The reason this number is important is for when buying filters or lens caps, that is the size of the filter or lens cap you buy. So this may be a 24 to 70 millimeter lens, but I need a 77 millimeter lens filter, okay? And we cannot talk about lenses and not talk about filters, all right? If you spend the money to put Gorilla Glass on your cell phone, you absolutely should be spending the money to put a UV protection filter on your lens, okay? Um, right? I don't care. It's fine. It's not my lens. All I can, you know, I can put anything on it and wipe anything off. Now, if this filter wasn't on here, my tongue touching the lens, or even if I just breathed on it to clean it off, there are acids in my breath that can deteriorate the oils on the end of the lens. We do not want that. Uh, get a lens filter. I wear keys on my belt. Sometimes they slam into the tip of my filter. I'd rather replace a $15 filter than a $1,000 lens, all right? In addition to a lens filter, you should also have lens cloths, okay? I prefer white, that way I can see if they're dirty. If you do have dust appearing in your photos, chances are it's your lens. You can wipe the rear of your lens and the front of your lens without any trouble, okay? A simple fingerprint on your lens filter could cause you some trouble, all right? So always keep a clean lens rag on hand. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment or reach me via Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or email. And remember, every thought you think creates your future.